Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Point Blank. Point Blank arrived to me today thanks to Amazon.com and I've been really looking forward to getting this guy because the original Point Blank was my favorite of the G1 Autobot Target Masters. So taking a quick look at the packaging right here, you've got Point Blank himself behind the open window so you can reach in and boop him on the nose if you'd like. Transformers on the side, Transformers Legacy on the bottom, great looking artwork of Point Blank and Peacemaker right there on top of the vehicle. Side of the box features robot artwork, up close shot of Point Blank here, and a full body shot. Back of the packaging is product images of Point Blank and Peacemaker, both in robot mode and vehicle mode, and there's Peacemaker himself right there. And you have the QR code that you can scan for the bio. So there that is, uh, you can pause and check that out if you'd like. This side of the box features the artwork that we have seen and are quite tired of since wave one. So now, without further ado, let's get Peacemaker opened up out of this packaging and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Point Blank and Peacemaker all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And then, of course, we've got Point Blank and Peacemaker themselves. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Peacemaker first. Do you really wanna, do you really wanna taste that? No, not that one. This one right here. And this figure really surprised me because since Siege, every time we get a Target Master, we get a Battle Master repaint. And I was really surprised that we didn't get one with Point Blank. Instead, Hasbro decided to go old school and model the new Peacemaker after the original G1. He's got no articulation whatsoever and transforms super, super simple, just like the original. Though the new one has a much better paint job. You look at the face right there, silver face, blue visor, you got black up here for the shoulders, and some blue accents on the chest. And lots of nice molded details, and really, that's it. Very waffly on the back, just like the original G1. And he's got a super simple transformation, just like the original. You fold him in half, nice tight joints too, fold him in half, and then extend the barrel and there you have peacemaker in his gun mode one extra step than the original but at least the new version hides the head so that's a plus so yeah there is peacemaker in weapon mode got some waffles there on the outside with the legs and he's got let's bring in point blank you can put him in his hand like so and he has a port on the back. So I guess he can attach to some of the other legacy weapons. So there you go, there's Peacemaker. Now let's take a look at Point Blank. And just like Peacemaker, there is a lot of generation one love that went into this figure. Check out the original Point Blank compared to the new one. I love this, I love the G1 throwbacks. The only thing the new version is missing is the shield and that's because the new one is not a parts former so taking a closer look at the figure absolutely love the head sculpt that looks so good you got a silver face and a blue visor he's got his little trademark crest right there 
Love it. That just looks awesome. Let's see. Now, the original toy had horns, but in the animation, that's when they decided to give him the crest. So the head sculpt's a little off, but hey, I'll live with that. I like the fact he's more anima animation accurate. Moving on down, he does have a translucent chest that if you look in, because of the light, you can see some hollowness. But if you open him up, actually half of it's full, filled up with some uh, plastic right there. But there is a space up in there, if you can see it. That's where the head's going to go in transformation. Moving on down, he has a little paint applications here on the crotch, some silver and red. Legs are black. Moving on down to the legs here, or the knees. He's got blue and silver paint. Got a little scratch right there. So that's kind of a spoiler. That was a faux spoiler back with the original toy. But I do like how the paint applications match the original's decals. And of course, you go down here to the feet, and that's about it. I mean, he looks great all the way behind. You got a little window right there. And big gaps for the legs, and that's due to transformation. So let's get into articulation. The head is, let's see, it is on a ball joint, can look up and down slightly, no tilt, but it can do a complete 360. Arms can do a complete 360 as well. As I said earlier, nice and tight joints. There is a rotation, or the shoulders can also go up this way. There is a rotation here at the bicep. There is a bicep bend, but it is going to hit the wheel right there. You've got this little red section here. You turn this way. you got the hood section. I mean, no matter how you go, you're going to hit that wheel. There is waist rotation. No wrist rotation, which is surprising. None of the Wave 3 so far have had any wrist rotation. Legs can go out. They can go in. They can go back. They can go forward. There is a knee bend, a nice deep knee bend because of transformation and there is an ankle tilt. So, lots of articulation for this guy. Like I said, I think he looks great. I love it, especially them big old trademark shoulder pads. So now, let's get point blank transformed into his vehicle mode. And I love the transformation. It's simple, yet still pretty ingenious. Now what you wanna do is take the arms right here and rotate these around, bring the bicep up and then rotate it to where the arm looks like that. It makes it a lot easier to snap it into place here as you rotate up and around. And there's a little tab right there. It's kind of hard to get. I've had a fit trying to get that tab to lock in. Once you get it in here. Okay, once you get that attached, go ahead and do the same thing with the arm here. Rotate around, bend up, loop around there you go bring it up and over and attempt to snap that one in place as well I don't know why the tab does not want to line up you can see right there there's the hole there's the tab it is a pain in the ass to do. So, leaving that as is, go ahead and take this back section, fold this down, and now you're gonna rotate the head down into that empty cavity that I showed earlier for the chest. Bring this section up and the window up. So it's gonna line up with the window that was for the chest. Rotate these around and just kind of put them into place right there. Close them up. I have transformed this guy so many times and now do it on camera is just a cluster. And of course now that I squeeze all this together, all the tabs just kind of miraculously popped into place. So there you go, there's the front end of the vehicle. Now we're gonna rotate the waist around, take these little side sections here and bring these down. These are gonna tab in to the front of the vehicle just like so. There we are. Now, go ahead and flip the canopy up because this is gonna make room for the legs. You're gonna take the feet and bring these all the way in and then you're gonna just fold the leg up and over and the legs gonna fit right in this space right here. 
and around this set the hip section get that up and over and you're gonna peg the foot into the hip section once again it's lining up these pegs that is a pain in the ass do the same thing on this side up and over get it around the hip section there we go get that tabbed in shut that up now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up and we'll be right back and now that everything's tabbed into place there we have point blank in his vehicle mode and I love this this looks so good and so much like the original generation one toy I do like the translucent plastic right here I usually don't but since you have all the plastic on the inside that fills it up you don't see any empty section there's a lot of black on the inside but that really doesn't bug me as much and I think it looks pretty cool paint applications you got a Autobot symbol here on the front you got some silver around the headlights some black right there on either side of the window some black for the intakes right there then of course you saw the fins or the spoiler from earlier with the blue and the silver the wheels are really nice too they are pinned in instead of pegged in which is a nice change from what we have been getting and he rolls really good i mean this guy flies across my table i love it this is a cool vehicle mode and then of course we've got the target master here that unlike the original which just pegged into the canopy with the port the handle you've got these slots and he's going to slot into the spoiler right back here and now you have point blank and peacemaker all armed up and ready for battle in their vehicle mode and we'll go ahead and bring in the original point blank and peacemaker so you can get a look at the two together there was a lot of g1 love put into this new version and i love it i do hope that toy hacks gives us a decal set to give us the flame decals that the original one had so there you go there are those two together and they look awesome so there you go guys there is point blank and peacemaker in their alt modes and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers legacy deluxe class point blank and pinpointer with generation one optimus prime generation one point blank and pinpointer and yes i forgot to put the spoiler on the vehicle mode when i showed that off earlier Generation Scoop with Hole Punch and Caliburst, and Siege Crosshairs with Pinpointer. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Point Blank and Peacemaker is a great Transformers set for us old school G1ers. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks with this figure, especially with the Target Master which really surprised me you know i expect my modern day figures to have more articulation but it was so cool getting this great throwback to that original generation one toy and i hope the younger fans understand where they were going with with that decision and as you can see peacemaker is also blast effect compatible i didn't notice that until i was posing for this picture point blank is also an awesome transformers toy with a great robot mode and great vehicle mode now he's nowhere near as difficult to transform as i showed on camera that's just the law of youtube no matter how many times you transform a figure you're gonna f it up in front of the camera so there you go guys transformers legacy deluxe class point blank and peacemaker so does a transformers legacy deluxe class point blank belong in your collection absolutely this is such a fun figure and just absolutely hits all those G1 nostalgia buttons. I've mentioned this before in some of the earlier Legacy releases, but this figure right here is so G1, it hurts. I was kind of shocked that they didn't give us a Battle Master style Target Master with this guy, but I, I still love how G1 it is. I mean, he's got no articulation whatsoever, transforms just like the original toy, and that is just awesome to me. This old ass G1er. I love this figure and I really, really hope that we get the other Autobot Target Masters. So, yeah, you see this guy on the shelf. Do not hesitate. Pick him up.
you are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hooah!